In today's video, I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step process on how to make two-in-one liquid soap. Yes, two-in-one liquid soap, multi-purpose and transparent liquid soap, all in one video. Actually, the reason for making this video is for clarity purpose because a lot of people do not really know the difference between these two. That's why sometimes it's always very difficult to explain to customers when they when they will be telling you that uh, ah, my neighbor is selling her own very cheap that is because they do not really know the difference between these two and even on the comment section you see people drop comments like the other day i used three ingredients to make liquid detergent this and that and my question is was that really a liquid detergent or a transparent liquid soap let's find out the difference stay tuned as we go in depth on the practical aspect of today's topic hello everyone you're welcome to class now let me start by introducing all the chemicals needed for both multi-purpose and transparent liquid soap all right for multi-purpose liquid soap the first chemical here is natural soul followed by lye solution i also have soda ash dense texapon next is sulfonic acid followed by SLS. I, I'll be using SLS rice. Next is STPP, as you can see, followed by color, fragrance, and lastly, I have preservative. These are all the chemicals needed for a quality multipurpose liquid soap. A quality multi-purpose liquid soap now let's look at the chemicals needed for transparent liquid soap I have my sex up on the first as the first chemical followed by SLS followed by SLS and then lastly I have my salt you can use your cooking salt or industrial salt as you can see in today's production i'll be using my cooking salt all right for making transparent liquid soap i'll be using just three ingredients as you can see here in multi-purpose liquid soap i have about nine ingredients and all ingredients are for 10 liters each 10 liters of multi-purpose liquid soap and 10 liters of transparent liquid soap all right the next thing to do now is to go ahead and dissolve all the powdered chemicals so that by the time I start my production, I will have them all in liquid form and I will just be adding liquid to liquid, no stress. As you can see, this is my, these are my mixing bowl. In here, I have 10 liters of water each. Okay, now because texapon takes a little bit longer to dissolve in water I'll first of all put texapon into the water for transparent liquid soap, soap and set it aside to dissolve gradually then I'll go over to the multi-purpose liquid soap so in here I have my texapon I'll leave it for some minutes to dissolve gradually while I continue with the multi-purpose liquid soap so kindly follow through and watch the video to the end so you won't miss out on any information just follow through so for the production of multi-purpose liquid soap as you can see i've added my natural soul as the first chemical i'll make sure i mix it for some time and then the next one here is my lye solution as the second chemical followed by my soda ash 
solution i'm going to stir these three chemicals for some minutes before adding any other one so the next one here is sulfonic acid i'm going to combine my sulfonic acid with texapon the reason is because texapon on its own cannot dissolve fast in water so you have to mix it in sulfonic acid to you know to hasten the the melting process so in goes my texapon and sulfonic mixture here i'll mix it for for some minutes to ensure that the mixture is well incorporated before adding my stpp solution and my sls solution as i said earlier kindly follow through so in goes my stpp solution and the sls solution at this point i'm almost done with the multi-purpose liquid soap also known as liquid detergent so i'll go over to the transparent liquid soap making so what i'm adding now is the preservative i just added the preservative now i'm heading over to the transparent liquid soap at this point the texapon that i added into the water for transparent liquid soap is completely melted so the next chemical i'm adding now is my sls solution so i've added the sls solution remember i'm using just three ingredients for transparent liquid soap so i've added texapon and uh, sls i'll go ahead and dissolve my salt you can as well you know pour it directly into the mixture i'm talking about the salt now you can pour it directly but i just choose to dissolve it in water before adding it to the mixture add it and you know stir it and make sure that all the salt granules are completely melted in this production salt serves as a thickener and also as antiseptic agent okay now as you can see we are almost done with our production let me take our time to explain multi-purpose liquid soap as i said earlier is also known as liquid detergent it is basically for laundry purposes and other you know things that needs to be washed because it contains antiseptic agents foaming agents cleaning agent and um, stain removing agent while transparent liquid soap on the other hand has you know just it contains just foaming agent and the uh, antiseptic agent so you can't compare the two and this is basically for washing of dishes transparent liquid soap is basically for washing of these dishes because it doesn't contain any stain removing agents to use for washing of clothes so this is six hours later as you can see the ladder has cleared now talking about the color normally i'm supposed to use either lemon or yellow for the transparent liquid soap but i don't want the situation whereby people will feel it because i'm using different color that's why i choose to use the same color for both transparent and multi-purpose liquid soap all right as you can see i'm almost done so far if you have watched this video to this very point thank you so so much kindly give this video a thumbs up like this video and also share it to other people so that they too will also know the difference between this to liquid soap okay i want to believe with this short explanation i've been able to you know to show you or to tell you the difference between this this two liquid soap if there is any area i have not touched in the course of this training kindly let me know in the comment section so we can discuss about it drop your comments about today's video and if this is your first time on this channel you're warmly welcome 
kindly give this video a thumbs up and click on the bell icon so you get notification whenever I drop new videos. Now in conclusion, don't forget I haven't said you cannot make liquid soap with three ingredients. Yes, it is possible you can make liquid soap with three ingredients but all I'm saying is that you should try as much as possible to know the difference between transparent liquid soap and multifocus liquid soap. Transparent liquid soap has just three ingredients and um, multifocus liquid soap on the other hand has about 10, 9 to 10 ingredients and that makes it an ideal soap for laundry because it contains foaming agent, cleaning agent, stain removing agent, antiseptic agent and also color control agent. The STPP there in multipurpose liquid soap it serves as a, a color control agent and it also balances the pH level of water in case you are using hard water so that the foaming ability of the soap will not be affected. So that will be all for today's video. Kindly give this video a thumbs up once again. Thank you so much. Thank you for being part of today's training. Thank you for watching to this very point. Stay blessed and see you in my next video. Bye.